here's rate laws are going to be another way to find rate and you're given different information. So if you're given different information, you could use this way to find rate. Let me first write a very general uh, reaction. Uh, the lowercase letters uh, represent coefficients. The uppercase letters represent molecules. Okay, so A plus B goes to G plus H, the lowercase letters again, so again are the coefficients. You can write what's called a rate law. Uh, and that's the rate, same kind of rate stuff as we've been talking about before, the speed, quote, velocity of the reaction is a K, I'll tell you what K is in just a second, lowercase k, times a concentration of A raised to some power, I'll say M, times a concentration of B raised to some power, I'll say N. Let me tell you what all these unknown variables are. Uh, and I'll do that in a different color. K is the rate constant. So K is different than the rate. It's called the rate constant. Uh, it's a constant for the reaction. It depends on a couple things. K will change, and I'll give you three examples where K can change. It can change if the reaction changes. So if the reaction changes, K will change. It can change if the temperature changes. So usually as temperature goes up, the rate goes up, and the rate constant will go up, and we'll get a little cap. Uh, formula for that later, later called the Arrhenius equation. Uh, it can also change if there's a catalyst. Remember, a catalyst accelerates the rate of reaction without theoretically being consumed in that reaction. So that can also increase K. So those are three examples of how that would change. Otherwise, K will be a constant. Okay, it's not going to typically change in your question. Unless the reaction changes, temperature changes, you add a catalyst, that sort of thing. Okay, the other is something called order. And the order of this reaction is M plus N. So it's the sum of the exponents. Uh, so later you're going to see that M sometimes will equal lowercase a and N sometimes will equal lowercase b, but that's not always going to be true. So they're not, m and n are not necessarily equal to the coefficients. Sometimes they will be, sometimes they won't be, and you'll see, uh, we'll see some examples. But the sum of the, uh, the exponents, and if there's more exponents, you keep adding them in, is called the order of reaction. So what you would say, the overall order of reaction here is m plus n, the order with respect to A is M, and the order with respect to B is N. Okay? But the overall order, you just add the exponents. Okay, again, uh, rate constant, this is not going to change. If it increases, your rate will increase, because that will just be a bigger number, and it will cause your rate to be a larger number. Um, Okay, so well, I think I referred to this example before, uh, but naturally, all your uh, diamonds, if you, have, you wear diamonds, you got diamonds in your nose, in your teeth, wherever, those are naturally decaying to uh, graphite. However, and that's thermodynamically favorable, so ener the energy favors that to happen. However, the kinetics are really slow. So if you calculate, for example, the rate law, it'd be really, you'd have a really small rate. And so that would mean that your reaction's not going to go forward very much at all. So we're always going to take into account, uh, when appropriate, the thermodynamics and the kinetics of reaction. Now what we're going to do is a little example involving rate law. Uh, 